with Emily. We've been following Emily's story throughout the year and she was interested in studying medicine and she's opened her results a few moments ago and I can see she's smiling so I'm guessing it was good news? It was, I got three A's. And what subjects did you get those A's in? Um, biology, chemistry and maths. So I got an A star in chemistry, an A in biology and an A in maths. I got an A star in chemistry, an A star in human biology and an A in maths. I got an A star in biology, an A in chemistry and an A in physics. I got an A in biology, an A star in chemistry and an A in mathematics. So really. A in biology. So at Wyke we have the Medical Society which is a high quality two year enrichment. Uh, it's an established programme that supports students interested in being a doctor, a dentist or vet and in the previous years we've had many successful students go on to study these programmes at university. Um, my plan is to go to the University of Leeds and study dentistry which is what I've wanted to do from the age of six so I'm just Dead pleased, really. I'm going to go to Hull York Medical School in September and then hopefully become a doctor. Go on to Surrey University and do veterinary medicine. I'm going to study medicine at Hull York Medical School. Well, I'm going to go to Hull York Medical School to study medicine. I'm going on to do medicine at Sheffield, um, so I'm really happy about that and I can't wait to get started. There are three main aims of the White Medical Society. The first of these is to inspire our most able students to investigate these careers and see if it's the kind of thing that they'd be interested in pursuing. The second is for those students who are already interested to make sure they've explored the career and that they know what they're getting themselves in for, crucially. The third is to support those students and make sure that they're able to, to make a successful application to these really competitive degrees. I'm now going to talk to you about another quite big topic of how do you choose the medical schools you're going to apply to. Whilst I was working out in um, sixth form, what I wanted to do, I thought I want something that I can go home at the end of every day for the rest of my life and be like, do you know what, I'm happy with what I did today. The Medical Society aims to expose students to these careers through regular talks with NHS professionals and medical students, dentistry students that have previously attended WIKE. Uh, we also provide students with support in accessing work experience placements and, and support them with those tricky admissions tests and interviews that students will need to, to demonstrate how passionate they are about these careers. So I took, I took 15 seconds for you. There are many hoops to jump through. For example, the admissions test, the interviews, and all of the work experience you have to undertake to ensure you have explored the career thoroughly. We have a programme of activities that runs every week over the two years of this enrichment programme. So in year one, we start by identifying student aims and objectives, what they'd like to get out of this enrichment, whether that's being a dentist or being a doctor. We then go on to study different medical schools and the way that they work, the requirements for admission at those particular institutions. By the end of the second year, we're beginning to prepare for admissions test. And then, in the second year, we go on to provide students with bespoke one-to-one -one personal statement workshops, which culminates around October time in a multiple mini-interview evening. The key values in the NHS are having the patient at the centre. The usual result of all this preparation is an offer in March-April time, and then when the results roll in in August, a place at one of these prestigious institutions. <laughs>